G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and today we're going to go over my first impressions of the new Delphi 10.3 Rio. Basically, I quite like it, but uh, I've got a few minor criticisms. Uh, the first is the theme. I've chosen the dark theme, which is, is quite nice and attractive, but uh, it's dark because it's meant to reduce eye strain and what have you, which is a good thing, but um, they've chosen blue as kind of the color sort of bluey bluey and this greeny gray uh type colors and um blue that well the shorter, shorter wavelengths are quite hard for the eye uh to focus so the um i think a reddish brown or something like that would be more appropriate if it if the the, the goal was uh cutting down eye strain but anyway even so it's still quite quite an attractive look so i'm i quite like it the live bindings now in let's go back to berlin um it's a couple of versions ago and let's go and do some live binding actually we'll not do any live binding but we'll just see how uh incredibly fast or not the uh live binding in berlin was so if i select address one and i have indeed actually clicked on that and it's thinking 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 and at some point in in the distant future um, it's going to select it and yep there we go and do the same click on address 2 so it's not just like the first one you click on that's slow um, so let's leave that to think and go over to Rio and we'll go uh, bind visually still takes a little bit of a delay for it coming up but not a big deal and click on something and there we go so I know that live bindings was one of the things, or the live bindings designer was one of the things that was worked on, um, and it looks like they've done a great job of improving the performance there. So that's very pleasing, and you can see this is all laid out horribly because I haven't been using it. I might start, uh, might have a go at using it. Um, I've, I've used it in some, some sort of trivial uh, forms and things, but um, anything like this which has got a little bit of uh, complexity to it, uh, the performance has been too, too bad. And I've just been using the um, uh, bindings list editor. And as you can see, there, there are quite a few live bindings there. Looks like there's one missing. I should probably have a look and see what that one is. But anyway, so that's, that's a huge improvement. Uh, there's an issue with the multi-device preview. Um, I don't know if it's just my machine, but... Let's go view tool windows. And you can see it's uh, flickering quite a lot. Uh, normally I dock this over to the side here and have some quite large things so I can kind of see what they look like on different devices. And yeah, it's really annoying because it it flickers madly. It's made a little bit worse by Camtasia running with the recording, but um, it's still pretty horrible. So I have not been using it, uh, and instead just changing the style to Android, which is my sort of what I'm, this is primarily primarily being developed for. Um, let's go reset that. Um, oh, every every time one of the annoyances uh, every time I install uh, Red. Red Studio, a new version of it. Um, it blows away my connection defs. The, uh, if we go to Data Explorer, and I have a bunch of uh, various connections, but every time we inst install a new version, uh, it overwrites it. Um, I have a, a file that's got kind of some of the uh, default ones. I, I'll usually add back. Uh, which I'll close now. Um, I had some issues installing it initially, and I think it was down to uh, a Cronus Active Protection, um, which, I've, as you can see, I've disabled uh, because it was causing it was blocking Red Studio from installing. It was thinking it was some sort of malicious thing, and so uh, I disabled it. But it came up with a few errors or warnings, which I just said continue. But I think uh, it actually blocked some files from being installed. And so when I went to uh, initially uh, do some Android development or compile an Android 
uh, application. Uh, it c complained that um, was it POSIX dot um, something was missing, and yeah, so it wasn't basically wasn't compiling any Android apps. But I uninstalled it, reinstalled it. It's working fine. Um, if we come here, there's the new uh, syntax. So we can go var control and say it's a t control. Uh, except it displays it all as errors, which is rather annoying. Uh, if we go back to our, let's just make this um, compile it Win32. And I'll do a control F9. So quite happily compiled, uh, but it's not recognizing that as valid syntax, which is annoying. If we go back and forwards, does it? Nope, it's not going to refresh that. So um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe for yeah, no, that's that. I was thinking maybe I could rewrite that as a uh, for i, I equals um, type loop, and it would be better, but maybe not. But so I haven't haven't been using that syntax uh, today. Um, yeah, installed installed this today, so I haven't really been uh, using it very much. Um, I'm missing. So when you modify a file normally, you get a little icon. Uh, in fact, let's go to so to say that it's been modified, um, which is missing in Rio for some reason. I'm not sure if this is the dark theme. I'll have to try the light theme and see if it uh, is present, but uh, it's missing and it's annoying. Um, uh, what I suppose what I normally do is uh, shuffle these all onto the uh, the top line. Because, um, you know, I'm running on a, a fairly high-res screen. Uh, and I can fit everything on one line. It gives me a little bit of more vertical space, and that's why I put the um, um, all the sort of panels on the side, and then have my messages at the bottom here, uh, rather than across the bottom of the coding, my sort of coding area, because um, you know the, the message generally all fit. And uh, if it's if I you know dock it there, um, yeah, I don't need don't need the the width basically so I quite like putting it at the bottom like so anyway um, I think that's all I've noted down to mention at the moment um, I'm I'm pretty pleased with the, the new version uh, it's pretty solid I haven't had any problems with it crashing um, or anything like that uh, it's been compiling everything just fine um, I will probably uh, make another video in the near future of uh, my sort of more impression, you know, as, as, I, as I get a, a stronger impression of, of it, um, I'll, I'll make an, a new, new video. But that's enough for now. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.